Today, I'm going to show you how to do something like this using magnetic mask in Pancad Pro and Apple Motion. Once you open your Final Cut and selected your clip, you can either duplicate or trim your clip. So in my case, I'm going to trim this. So option right bracket for the start and around, around here is my out point. After that, I'm going to apply the magnetic mask. So go to effects, then big effects, then mask and keying and magnetic mask. Once that applied, let's select a part where our subject is fully visible. Around here, I'm going to select my subject. Then deselect unnecessary areas. Then once that is done, select Analyze. Then hit Done. Then the next step is export your file. So go to Export Settings. So export file. Then set the name as however you like. So I'm gonna get set this as okay. My mistake. Select your clip and press R to select this clip only. Then export again. Export file. Then here on the settings, this is very important. The video codec should be Apple ProRes 444 so that we have a transparent background. Then export that. Okay, once that is done, open your motion, then import as project. Then select the file you want. Now that we have this, you will have this transparent background. Then the next thing we need to do is clone our file. So press K on your keyboard. Then this clone layer, we will add a stroke filter here. So go to filters, border, and stroke. Then you change the color, however you like. Okay. And then select the part where you want the stroke to start. So around here I think, so I'm gonna trim my clone layer. So press I on your keyboard. Then also let's find the out point around here. So press O on your keyboard. Then here on the stroke filter, let's check hide source. So if we turn off our skate lines main video, so you will only have this. Then the next step is Let's add a bump map filter here. So go to filters, distortion, and bump map. After that, let's go to the part where the stroke starts. Then let's add a clouds generator. So add object, generator, generators, and clouds. Here on the clouds generator, let's turn off the first, second, and third layer strength. Actually, you can just leave it there, but I usually do this. Then adjust the vertical and horizontal scale, something like this. Then go to bump map, then drag these clouds to the map image. Then turn off the clouds, ch change to horizontal and vertical scale. Then you can adjust this to around like this. Then go back again to clouds. Then here on the offset, let's add a parameter here. Let's add some randomize. So let's take a look. So you will have this kind of really, really a random look. So it depends on you. You can just play around with this one. In my case, I'm going to reduce the noisiness and frequency. So if we look, from the start of the stroke, so it will have like this. So the next thing we need to do is let's go back to Final Cut Pro. Then this one, our file earlier, let's turn off the magnetic mask. Then export this again, export file. So in this case, this one is okay. Just leave it like this. Let's rename it as background. Okay, then once that is done, let's import that here. 
import then background then this background of course we need to put it below our skate lines tutorial then if we scrub through so you will now have this look interesting isn't it then let's add more so this is skate lines tutorial let's clone this press k on your keyboard and then press i because uh, i want my clone to start here press i in here then around a few frames press o then this clone layer i'm gonna set the position to this side and then i'm gonna clone this against skate lines tutorial so i want it to start around here so i on my keyboard again and o then move this clone layer to the other side so you can play around with this like change the offset or the start point then you will have a different look just like this so let's say i want this to be here or like this and then the other one like this then this clone layer you can add some interesting things here so you can go to uh, filters and color tint so you'll have this kind of tint here on your image then you can do the same for the other clone you can just you can select your other clone then filters color and tint and change the tint color to around red so you will have something like this if you want the stroke to appear on some parts you can just go to the clone layer with stroke filter and then trim the area where you want the stroke to start for example here i'm gonna trim here so i then o so that to the out then another part i'm gonna duplicate my stroke command d then move my stroke copy to the part where i want it to have a stroke again then like this then duplicate again then move that stroke there and just like this of course same with the bump map you can just duplicate and trim For example i want it here then trim it there then duplicate again then start the bump map here so you have something like this look Of course, you can adjust this part however you like. So that's how to make this lines tutorial using Pancat Pro's magnetic mask and Apple Motion. Thank you and see you again next time.